Hello, this is Jim. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to have a look at two scuba drills. They're going to take your buoyancy to the next level. <laughs> This is at our training pool. Uh, the first one is a single tank valve midwater. This was a DIR skill. Uh, let's have a look at that right now. Uh, now, just as the setup to, uh, to a task like this. So this one is in a, a three and a half, four meter pool. And when you do something like this, you're going to be shutting down your tank valve, breathing out the hose, opening it back up. Some critical attributes. This was a DIR, a GUE DIR skill to begin with, I believe. And I'm here, what is it? I'm on a five mil, I'm in a back plate and a wing. Long hose setup. What is that, a 10 liter steel tank? It's, it's kind of a short tank, so that's a little harder to reach. Let's have a look and I'll talk our way through it. There I am, reaching back. Shutting it down, no problem. You can see I'm not wearing gloves. Some people criticized for that. It's off, breathing out the hose. The hose is off, you see the hand signal and just opening it right back up. All done, no drama there. Some critical attributes. Uh, having the tank mounted so that it's up close to your head. I like to have my tank mounted so if I, if I put my, my head back, I feel it on the back of my head. This, in my estimation, is a self-rescue maneuver and I do this with my rescue students. I try and have them uh, mount their tank so that they can reach it themselves. I have need to do that before. On one uh, dive, apparently my valve was not open all the way. I got down to 26 meters, I was leading a dive, and very suddenly I was out of air. But I was, I was looked at my SPG, and what happened was I would, I would breathe in, and I'd breathe in, it goes to zero, and then slowly comes back. Breathe in, goes to zero, comes back. It was the tank valve. The tank valve was not all the way open, so the aperture was small, I was deep, demanding more air, volume-wise, the air is, is more dense, so to fill up my lungs, it needs a faster flow, a greater flow of air from the tank. Having the tank valve closed slightly was not supplying the volume of air that I needed, so I would suck it dry, the regulator and the hose, suck it dry, and then slowly it would come back. Suck it dry, and slowly it would come back. Your buddy check, you can prevent that by how I teach my open water students. Look at your SPG, you have your regulator in, and breathe hard. <laughs> And if your tank valve is a little closed, you'll see a little bit of movement on the SPG. That's, that's what you're looking for. So for me, that's uh, checking my primary reg and that my tank valve is all the way open at the same time during the buddy drill. By watching, it shouldn't be moving. If it's moving a little bit, means definitely your valve is a little closed. Okay, the other thing, reaching the valve. So you've got the tank high, which helps. And then second, one mistake people make with this is they try and reach back from the side. And what I found is two things. Thing one, it's a little bit harder to find the valve in your, in your train here. Thing two, um, it, your, your arm can't get back as far, in my experience. So my advice, bring it straight back. The reach is farther and it's pointed right at the valve. Also, some people uh, walk their hands back. They grab their uh, hoses and then walk it back to the first stage. Other people might have to take their left hand, go under the tank and push up the tank while they're reaching. Other advice, eye contact. With any of these kinds of tasks, eye contact is essential. This includes launching an SMB, doing uh, deco stage drills, anything like that. I'm looking at my buddy as my depth reference. Looking at him, doing my task. Back up, check him, doing the task. Back up, check him. Because if I look down for too long, I'm gonna lose my buoyancy. I have to keep checking my reference. Okay, let's have a look at the second task. This one, I... I was a glutton for punishment, so I, <laughs> I used to be very active on scuba board. A lot of people had said, hey, why doesn't someone have a scuba removal and replacement in midwater? I filmed that again with, with my dive master at the same pool. I was wearing my usual. Let's go through this and, and have a walk. I start the task, take off the long hose. I'm taking off the necklace there, right? I have to take that off, put the long hose back, working on my belt. Again, keeping the eye contact with my dive master, my depth reference. Okay, I've got the belt off. Now I'm gonna chicken wing through the chest strap. Sorry, through the shoulder strap. Bringing it around. Now I'm gonna pause that for a second. So, 
Um, with the equipment removal and replacement, this is the stage to which you could do it at. With a long hose, that's going to be the way it is. Some people leave the necklace on. I happen to take it off just to make it a little bit more challenging. Your mileage may vary. And let's restart it. So now I'm going to put my arm in the, in the hole, turn over. Now from here is where it could get a little bit complicated, right? Let me pause that. Could get a little complicated. Typically with a long hose setup, there's a lot more to get in the way, right? So from here, you need to make sure that the hoses are in the right spot, that you didn't get one through a loop where it shouldn't be. Let me start it back up. Put the left arm through. I had to make sure the SPG wasn't fouled there. Now I'm getting the strap set. My crotch strap, which is the hardest part of this whole thing, the only really, it's the most challenging part. You see me keeping the depth reference with my dive master as much as possible. I think I've got my crotch strap there. No, not yet, not yet. There we go. Alrighty, now I'm going to work on my hoses. I need to get that necklace over my head, so i got to take out my primary. Now let me pause here. So one one piece of criticism that I took. Hey Jim, I was watching your drill real close, and I noticed you were holding your breath. I believe I wasn't holding my breath. Let's restart. So I got that necklace on. Here we go with the long hose, back around, back to the reference with my dive master. I'm tucking the hose in, checking my hoses now, and they were finished and all good. The one thing that I didn't do here that I that I should have done was take and check that SPG one more time. It's very common that SPG will get stuck underneath the belt or in the long hose. Other criticism I took. Hey Jim, oh, that was too easy. How about you try that little old drill and double tanks in a dry suit, huh? Because I don't wear a dry suit in this pool. The pool's 80 degrees or 30 degrees or something. I never wear a dry, dry suit in this pool, right? So why would I do that? I don't know. I guess point taken, if, if I wanted to do it in a dry suit, I would, I would do that too. And other people, oh, why why didn't you do it in double tanks? And I was like, well, because that's what I normally dive in. That's what I did it in. You always take a risk when you post something up. You open yourself up to the world. Am I right? Whether it's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, whatever it is, you post something up, you're kind of like, put that target on yourself. Fire! My comeback very humbly was, you know what? No, I didn't do it in doubles in a dry suit. Why don't you? And you post it up and we'll all watch it and make our comments. And oddly enough, nobody posted. Those are a couple drills. The self-rescue drill, I believe, is super, super useful as, you know, I had to use it once, maybe twice, and I was really thankful that I could because, man, it was great to be able to solve that problem myself. And the equipment on, equipment off, that is just something to build your skills. If you could do that, you're going to be pretty good in buoyancy. I tell you, it's, it's, it's probably more difficult than it looks. I challenge you, give it, give it a try. And post it up. I'll have a look. I won't be too hard on you. Hope you got something out of that. Make your buoyancy like a Jedi. Share, like, subscribe. We're building the channel. Why not be part of it? I will see you on the beach. More of that, please. Girl.